Hello kids, welcome to today's maths class and today we'll do lines and angles. Introduction, we have already learned about the lines, line segment, rays, angle and types of angle. In this lesson, we shall learn about the pairs of the related angle like complementary angles, supplementary angles, adjacent angles, linear pair and vertically opposite angles. Pair of intersecting lines, transversal angles made by transversals and the condition of specific angle to be equal shall also be deemed in this chapter. Let's revise some of the basic concepts studied in the previous classes. A part of line with have two end point is called the line segment and it is denoted by AB. So, segment means part of something. So, part of line that is called line segment and we represent it by, so it have two end point. So, AB will represent a line segment. Ray is the part of line with one end point and its other point can be extended further. So, it is denoted by here, it is a ray, it has one end point. So, here ray AB means one side arrow means in one direction it can be extended endlessly. Line can be extended from both the side left to right and it is denoted by AB line. So, line it has no end point. So, both side arrow. So, it can be extended in both direction endlessly. When the two rays originated from the same end point they form the angles. The ray called the arms of an angle, the end point is called the vertex. Here, these are the two rays, they originate from the same point that is the vertex, this point. Clear? So, in the previous class, we have read about the various types of angle, their measurement and the construction. Here, we shall learn some more properties of angle. Next, note to remember. The sum of the linear pair is 180 degree. The angle forming the linear pair are adjacent angle, but the pair of adjacent angle need not to be linear pair. The sum of all angles formed on the same side of line given point is 180 degree. The sum of all angle formed at a point is 360 degree. Next is complementary and supplementary angles. First is complementary angle. When the sum of the measure of two angles is 90 degree, the angles are called complementary angles. Whenever two angles are complementary, they are called the complement of each other. For example, here the angle POQ, angle POQ and angle ABC are complementary angle and POQ is called the complement of ABC or vice versa means ABC is complement to POQ because their total 70 plus 20 that is 90 degrees so they are the pair of complementary angle. Next is supplementary angles. When the sum of measure of two angles is 180 degree that the angle are called supplementary angle. Whenever two angles are supplementary they are called the supplement of each other. For example, here angle XOY plus angle PQR equals to 70 plus 110 that is 180 degree. Dono ka sum total is 180 degree. So, angle XOY and angle PQR are supplementary angle and XOY is supplement to or kis ka supplement ho jayega PQR and PQR is the supplement of angle XOY. Next is note to remember. Angles of the linear pair are supplementary angle, but every pair of supplementary angle need not to be linear pair. Supplementary angles are also called the allied angle. Now, I will take an example, find the complement of each of the following angle. First one is 25 degree. So, we have to find the complement of this angle. So, as we know the sum of complementary angle is 90 degree. So, the other angle will be 90 minus 25 that is 65 degree, clear? 
Next is exercise 5.1. Write yes or no. Can two obtuse angle be supplementary? As we know the sum of supplementary angle that is 180 degree. And the obtuse angles are those angle which is more than 90 degree but less than 180 degree. So, the two obtuse angle cannot be supplementary. So, it is false or we can write no for it. Clear? So, practice all the questions of this exercise. Next is pairs of lines. Two or more lines that have one and only one point in common are called the intersecting lines. The common point where all the intersecting line meet is called the point of intersection. Here A, B and C, D are the intersecting line and O is the point of intersection. Two lines are said to be parallel if they do not intersect each other even when they are produced in infinity in either direction. In the figure given below L and M are parallel lines. So, here these are the intersecting line. A, B and C, D they intersect at point O. So, this point O is known as the point of intersection. When two lines do not intersect each other at any point. Kita bhi extend karlo, these are called parallel lines. Like here, L and M are parallel lines. Two parallel lines are denoted by the symbol. This is the symbol of parallel. Clear? So, two parallel lines L and M are written as L parallel to M and read as L is parallel to M. Next is transversal. A line which intersect two or more given line at different point is called the transversal to the given line. The given line may or may not be parallel. So here, this line S is the transversal. It is intersecting two non-parallel line at different point. Here and here. Clear? Here line L passing through the intersection of two other line is not transversal. Why? Here it is line L. Not a transfer at it does not intersect the line at different points because line could different point pe cut nahi kar So, it is not a transversal. Next is note to remember. The line intersected by the transversal may or may not be parallel. Zaruri nahi ki parallel ho, ho bhi sakti hai aur nahi bhi. Some practical examples of the surrounding given below. Like here, the crossing road. Here, these are parallel. The railway lines are parallel to each other. Clear? Next is, angles made by transversal. When two lines are intersected by the transversal, eight angles are formed. For example, first interior angle. Interior means inside. Bhi jo bante hai. So, angle 3, 4, 5 and 6. These are the interior angle. Exterior angle means outside. So, 1, 2, 7 and 8. They are exterior angle. Next is pair of corresponding angles. So, Angle 1 and 5 because same side pe 1 and 5, 2 and 6, 3 and 7, 4 and 8. These are the pair of corresponding angles. Next is pair of alternate interior angle. Alternate means alag alag side pe. Ek is side pe, dusra is side pe. So, alternate angle ho jayenge. Alternate interior angle 3 and 6, 4 and 5. Clear? Alternate exterior angle that is 1 and 8 and 2 and 7. So, pair of interior angles on the same side of transversal that are angle 3 and 5, 4 and 6. Next is transversal of parallel lines. In a given figure, L and M are two parallel lines intersect by the transversal P. 
Next is corresponding angles. If two parallel lines are cut by transversal, each pair of corresponding angles are equal in measure. Agar two lines parallel hai and a line which is transversal to it, so the pair of corresponding angles that would be equal. From the given figure, the pairs of corresponding angles are angle 1 and 5, 2 and 6, 3 and 7 and 4 and 8. So, they all will be equal means angle 1 equals to 5, 2 equals to 6, 3 equals to 7 and 4 equals to 8. Next is alternate angles. The alternate angle are divided into two parts. First, alternate interior angles. If two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, each pair of alternate interior angles are equal. From the given figure, the pair of alternate interior angles are angle 3 and 6, angle 3 and 6. Ye equal ho jayenge and angle 4 and 5, they are equal. Next is alternate exterior angle. If two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, each pair of exterior angles are equal. From the above given figure, the pair of alternate exterior angles are angle 1 and 8, 2 and 7, they will be equal. Next is co-interior angles. If two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, then each pair of co-interior angles on the same side of transversal are supplementary, means their total will be 180 degree. From the above figure, the pair of co-interior angle are 3 and 5, 4 and 6. So, angle 3 and 5 which are 180 degree, 4 and 6 that is also 180 degree, means supplementary. Now, we will take an example in the figure given below. M is parallel to N and L is the transversal. If angle 1 equals to 60 degree, find angle 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. So, here we know M and N are parallel line and L is transversal. Clear? So, the properties from the properties of parallel line, angle 5 and angle 1, they are a corresponding angle. As we know, the value of or the measurement of angle 1 equals to 60 degrees. So, angle 5 is 60 degree because corresponding angle hai, they are equal. So, angle 3 equals to 5, 3 and 5 alternate angle that is also 60 degree. As we know, angle 1 and angle 2 they are linear pair. Linear pair is 180 degree. Ho so, angle 2 equals to 180 minus 60 degree that is 120 degree. Angle 2 ka measure hamare paas kita gaya? 120 degree. Now, angle 6 and angle 2, both are 120 degree because corresponding angle hai. 7 and 3 are equal, to 60 degree ho jayega. 4 and 6 are equal, 120 degree. Angle 8 and 4 are equal, 120 degree because corresponding angles hai. Hence, angle 2, 120 degree, 3, 60 degree, 4, 120, S, 60 6 जो हो जाएगा नहीं वापस पढ़ते हैं हेंस एंगल 2 120 डिग्री 3 60 डिग्री एंगल 4 120 डिग्री एंगल 5 60 डिग्री 6 120 डिग्री एंगल 7 60 डिग्री एंड एंगल 8 120 डिग्री क्लियर नेक्स्ट इज एक्सरसाइज 5.2 इन द फिगर गिवन बिलो नेम द पेयर ऑफ कोरिस्पोंडिंग एंगल कोरिस्पोंडिंग हो जाएंगे 1 and 5, 4 and 8, 2 and 6 and 3 and 7. These are the pair of corresponding angles. Practice all the questions of this exercise. Next is things to remember. The adjacent angle are said to form the linear pair of angle if their non-common arms are two opposite rays. Two angles with the common vertex, a common arm and the other arm laying on the opposite sides of the common arm form a pair of adjacent angle. Two angles whose sum is 90 degree is called the complementary angles and either is called the complement of the other. Two angles whose sum is 180 degree is called the supplementary angle and either is called the supplement of the other. 
any two angles that are formed by two intersecting line and which are not adjacent are called the vertically opposite angle. If two line intersect then vertically opposite angles are always equal. The sum of all the angles at the point is 360 degree that is equals to four right angle. A line that intersect two or more given lines in a plane at a distinct point is called the transversal to the given line. The transversal curl parallel line then alternative angles are equal corresponding angles are equal the sum of the interior angles on the same side of transversal is 180 degree. If the transversal intersect two line such that any of the following condition is satisfied means a pair of alternative angles are equal a pair of corresponding angles are equal the sum of interior angle on the same side of transversal is 180 degree then two lines are said to be parallel to each other. Next is multiple choice questions. The complement angle of measuring 10 degree is, so as we know the sum of complement angle that is the 90, one is 10 degree, so other one is 80 degree. So 10 degree ka complement ho jayega C 80 degree. So here we end the chapter. I hope you understand it well. Now to practice it.